Hey guys, what's up? KLN here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an Ultimate Team and today we have an 89 rated icon Kelly Smith review for you guys. So, looking at the player bio on the card, she's 5 foot 6 tall, high medium work rate, 4 star skills and a 4 star weak foot, left foot primarily with the controlled acceleration type. Now, as it comes down to the price, I'm not too sure because the game hasn't exactly released yet. So, I will probably give you a price estimate towards the end of the video. When it comes down to the attribute details, pace looks phenomenal, 92 sprint speed with 88 acceleration, shooting looks absolutely crazy, she's got 95 attack positioning with 91 shot power coupled with 92 finishing and 93 long shots with 90 volleys and 85 penalties. Passing looks very good as well, I guess you can play a cam. She has 91 vision with 91 short pass, 75 long pass isn't great, but she's also got 94 curve and the finesse shot playstyle if I'm not mistaken. Dribbling looks absolutely phenomenal, 86 agility with 94 ball control and dribbling with 90 reactions as well. And when it comes down to the physical, she has got the plus 4 boost to the strength, but all in all, I'm not expecting her to hold off many players. This card is for her second stint at Arsenal, where she did end up winning the treble, if I'm not mistaken. Now, when it comes down to the playstyles on the card, I did mention earlier that she does have the finesse shot trace. She does have, the, well, finesse shot playstyle. She does have that. She's got the dead ball playstyle. She's got the power header playstyle, the first touch ball control playstyle, as well as the aerial physical playstyle. So, with that being said, I'm going to try out as striker and striker only in a 4 on 2 on 2 narrow. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the gameplay highlights with 89 rated icon Kelly Smith. So heading into the first game of this video, Kutelas plays a great ball through, Kelly Smith takes it on, ball also cut inside back onto her favourite left foot and the finesse shot at the end of it is whooped in and a semi acrobatic celebration to match. Onto the next clip here, again good positioning from Kelly Smith just to maintain her run and stay on side. She gets the ball on the left foot, quick feet to get the shot away before the goalkeeper comes rushing out at her and she does end up scoring and a Suru celebration to match that goal as well. Now heading into the second half of this first game with Kelly Smith doing a very good job but she keeps possession, stays on her feet and loops it over the goalkeeper beautifully on the 4 star weak foot and she does have a hat trick on her debut but of course we do one more so Gravenberg gets that into um, Ferran Torres if I'm not mistaken, 2 seconds later Smith is through on goal, goes with the power shot across the goalkeeper on the 4 star weak foot once more and she does end up scoring. Now this goal possibly and probably the best goal of this video. We win the ball back, Lorente gets that into Smith, gets away from 1, 2 and 3 and whoops the finish shot into the top corner. Absolutely sensational goal from Kelly Smith. Honestly she is very very good and her finishing ability is absolutely spectacular. She reminds me somewhat of Butragenio in terms of play style. But anyway, good footwork here between her and Ferran Torres. Get into the box and again the finish on the left foot is absolutely spectacular. When I say she's like Butragenio, I mean in terms of a small quick dribbly type of player who can really really finish very very well. And as for the positioning on the card here, again, knows where the space is, runs into it and pretty much has a tap in volley at the end of it but still good positioning and a solid connection on the volley to say the least. Heading on to this clip here, the first and only assist if I'm not mistaken of this video. Good link up play between her and Marcos Llorente who cuts inside and belts that into the top corner of the crossbar. But anyway, moving on to the next match here, Ferran Torres gets that into Ryan Gravenberg. I see Smith making that run, is she going to hold it and stay on side? Of course she is. The runs that she makes is absolutely phenomenal. She's able to just stay on side no matter what and she did exactly that there yet again. Anyway, she does seem to be getting onto the end of a lot of crosses and she gets onto the end of this one as well. A smashing volley on the left foot. The best finish of this video if I'm not mistaken. Maybe alongside the finesse shot earlier from outside the box but that finish controls it on the chest and the volley at the end of it is absolutely perfect. Really showcasing the plus four to the volleys that she did have in that situation. Here another volley. Smith Open goal, keeper just dives into the middle of nowhere and the volley at the end of it again on the right foot. You guys saw a very similar goal earlier on. She is able to convert it and get yet another goal for herself. So guys, with that being said, it is time to review the card. I did decide to keep the gameplay a little shorter than usual. Just maybe so you guys can end up watching through all the way to the end. So if you guys have done that and if you guys do like the idea of shorter videos, let me know down below in the comment section and you will receive. But anyway, looking at the player bio in just three games, she's got 10 goals and made one assist so very nearly four 
gold contributions per game which would have been absolutely sensational but regardless that gold return is still absolutely ridiculous now looking at the actual details on the card when it comes down to the pace i'm going to go ahead and give her a 9 out of 10 she can run in behind she's very quick on the ball as well and i do think she can run away from a lot of players in game so pace does get a 9 out of 10 shooting is absolutely spectacular the finesse shot chip shot right foot left foot power shot she can do absolutely everything or genuinely the shooting is very very good i'm gonna go ahead and give her a 9.2 out of 10 the shooting is just absolutely crazy passing very good surprisingly for a striker it's very underrated the long pass of course does drop that passing to about 84 which is what you see as a face type but as a striker playing as a striker linking up to play with teammates she is excellent when it comes down to that because of the 91 short pass that she does have and she obviously can take finesse shots as well she's got the finesse shot play style and 94 curve to go with it so for passing i'm going to go ahead and give her an 8.6 out of 10. when it comes down to the dribbling i'm going to go ahead and say she deserves a 9 out of 10 without a doubt the dribbling is phenomenal she feels quick on the wall agility getting a plus four is crucial and the ball control and dribbling getting a plus four is even more important the 89 composure that she does have is more than good enough inside the box she's able to take her time really calm herself down and apply the finishing touch which is what you would expect from an icon in this game an 89 rated icon i'm expecting her to score things like that every single time and she did so dribbling gets a 9 out of 10 when it comes down to the physical i'm going to go ahead and give her a 7.8 out of 10 because She's not the biggest footballer, she's not really strong and able to hold players off. She's more like a quick, agile, nimble type of footballer who's able to just get the ball, turn players and finish when needs be. So honestly, when it comes down to the physical, I think a 7.8 is the way to go. Gretchen isn't very good, but she does last the full 90. Going into extra time, though, she will get tired. And the strength on the card at 86, genuinely, it's pretty decent. But like I said, she does not have the aggression to match. Now, best position for this card, I would say, is 100% striker. She can play cam if you really have to, but I think striker is 100% the way to go. And the best cam style, I would say, go for the hawk cam style, or you could go for the finisher cam style, if I'm not mistaken. Now, is this card worth the coins? I can't really say that because, like I said, the game hasn't exactly come out yet. But according to Footprint, she is going for around just under 600,000 coins, which I would say is a good price because she is an absolutely insane player. But as of right now, as I said, I cannot exactly tell you guys or give you guys a clear indication to whether or not she's worth the price because the prices are fluctuating a lot and it's hard for me to read the market because obviously it is technically a new game. So when it comes down to whether or not she is worth the price, I would say if you guys can get her for anything less than 400k at the start of the game, it is a very, very good buy. So anyway, with that being said, I do bring an end to this video. If you like it, smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.